my in-person audition, or rather callback, I think, for Drama Studio London was today. So this was the school that I had emailed and requested an in-person audition. And they said, all right, it's March 14th. And I responded and said I had looked at the plane tickets for that weekend. For some reason, they were like four times more expensive than usual. And I'm sorry, I couldn't afford it. Could I submit by video instead, please? And so I sent them the link to my audition video and asked if that could please serve as my audition since they allow that. They responded and said, well, when will you be in New York? Maybe we can make something work. And... I told them, well, I'll be there these two weekends. And then from that, they said, well, our, our managing director said that he can have a colleague meet you on one of those days. So just hang tight. So I, I couldn't believe that. That was, um, it was so kind. Like from the very beginning, I felt like the school had made a personal exception for me and like they really wanted to see me. And that, that helps. It's nice to be wanted. It's nice to have someone take the time to do that. So I, I think that from watching my video, just the, you know, how you get an impression from these things, from an audition, the minute you walk in, you're either going to get it or you're not. It, it seemed to me like this is a school that from my audition video, which admittedly was quite strong, it had a three minute intro on it. I think that they wanted me. So that was lovely. And they had me meet one of their alumna, an American alumna, named Sarah Megan Thomas. She's a professional director, actor. She's really cool, actually. And um, I think that I just liked her a lot because I relate to her a lot in several just personal ways. Just our backgrounds and our personal lives have a lot of really close similarities. And that, that helps. It's hard not to like someone who you could see yourself in. So she had, it seemed like she was there for just me. I was the only person that she was there to meet. And she spent one hour with me and she arrived a couple minutes after I did and we left together. And she had, we chatted for a bit. She asked me, you know, why do you want to study drama and why London? Where do you see yourself going? What's your career goals, etc. So we had a nice conversation. Then she asked me which two monologues I wanted to perform and why, you know, why I chose these, what the background was. She asked me to choose two characters that were as much like myself, you know, character-wise, type-wise, as, as realistic as possible. So I did the same two that I've been doing for practically all of them, Dawn from Lobby Hero by Kenneth Lonergan, and Cressida from Troilus and Cressida by Shakespeare. So she had me do um, she gave me redirection twice on the Dawn monologue, so I got to do that one three full times. Then we played a couple of improv games. Um, one was just to act like I'm waiting in a doctor's waiting room. And uh, there were, you know, a few specifics given and a little bit more direction, so I did that for a few minutes. Then uh, an improv game back and forth between the two of us where she had a line, a prompt that she started with. She was looking at her phone she had been sent by Kit Thacker, the managing director, a, a list of games, improv games, things to do with me, and this prompt was on there. So that was fun. We had a fun little conversation kind of interrogation thing. I enjoyed it. And then we talked some more, and she told me a lot about her experience there at Drama Studio, which is really what I was most interested in. You know, the typical questions you know, when will I hear back? How much does it cost? Don't be an idiot. You can get those things answered online. So I, I really had answers to most of my questions already from the website or from having emailed back and forth with Joe Denton, the registrar, I believe her title is. So she, we talked a lot. She said that she was one of only five or six international students in her course. She did a one-year course, sort of like a master's because she had gotten her bachelor's in the uh, in the U.S. and she had also done an eight-week Shakespeare course at RADA. So, you know, after after this experience, really from the very beginning, ever since Drama Studio was so kind and so accommodating to me, and since I've put in a good deal of research to into them and their their background and their history and the students that they produce, you know, Emma Emily Watkins. Emily Watson and Pip Torrens and several other really good people 
you know, they've, they've rather gone to the top of my list. So I have an interview via Skype with Kit coming up this week at some point. We've got to get that firmly scheduled. And then after that, I expect to hear back quite quickly. And I'd be rather surprised if I weren't given an offer. And so at this point, it would be between them and East 15, which are on different sides of North London. So that would be an interesting decision. I really like Drama Studio. I like that I would be in the minority as an international student. That's something that I want. I know that there's a lot of pros to East 15's international course, but I don't know if I want to be that cosseted, to have it be that easy for me. I'd rather like to have to learn how to fit in with a class of majority British students because that's what I want to do anyway. And being a minority, having that experience for once in my life would be really good for me, not just as an actor, but personally. So, Drama Studio, Sarah Megan Thomas, Kit Thacker, Joan Denton, at Shuttler Studios. It was a lovely experience. Really, really nice. I'm so grateful. I really like Drama Studio. <laughs>